Welcome back to Fortnite Tales. This is Team Alindal. We're playing Fortnite and talking about stuff. Uh, today we're going to continue our conversation of colonial history and our discussion of John Winthrop. Kind of finish it up, wrap it up in a bow. Winthrop's career and views raised fundamental issues at a time that has pretty much reverberated throughout American history. Uh, the questions of where does freedom end and authority be to begin? What was the role of the magistrate? How should one combine the need for order and justice with the Christian virtue of mercy? Let's see. When we kick off this round, where, oh, where should we go? I think we should go to our house. It's where we always go. <laughs> Historians themselves were sharply divided on Winthrop's civic methods. In the 1830s, George Bond. Bancroft depicted him as a pioneer in creating representative government in America. At the other side, other end of the spectrum, Brooks and Charles Adams emphasized his authoritarian character and his propensity to persecute his opponents. They blamed him for the bigotry that would eventually lead to the witch hunts in Salem. Perry Miller, Elliot Morrison in the 1930s stressed that Winthrop was a religious man first and his political philosophy was more of a projection of his Christian beliefs. They painted a picture of New England as a type of theocracy where the government tried to conform to Christ's teachings. They were attempting to resolve the conflicts between the Bible and the needs of government. Okay, let's land in here with a gun. Let's grab the gun, actually. Jeez. Sigh. Okay, what do we got here? We got splashes. Nice. What's up here? Blue SMG, let's go. Okay, let's grab that. Reorg some here. Let's go out and wait. Chest here, let's grab this chest while we're here. What is that? Gold gold machine SMG, nice. Why are there like let's reorg here. What why are there three, two medmas and a med kit? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's crazy. Let's grab the med mist. Let's go out here and grab these barrels. Oh, there's a pot out here. Let's grab this pot. Okay, I don't see anybody. Pop this pot. Okay, grab the slap juice. Who just shot at me? Oh, they're over here. Hello. Okay. I can't shoot. Either that or this gun is not accurate. Ow. Oh, you're hurt. I gotta get him out. We gotta take him out. Let's go. Where'd you go? And there's our first elimination. Let's go. We'll go ahead and grab that. Get ourselves a little bit better distance weapon. And let's go uh, see what's in this house here. It's a keg. Let's grab that keg. Drop the med mist for it, I guess. Yeah. Okay, let's go fight. Let's go see what's going on over here in the bay. Who's shooting at me over there? Oh, wait, that's behind me. Where is he? There he is. Wait, someone is right here. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, that hurt. I'm, I'm in trouble. Oh, my God, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh, my God, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. Let's go. Holy cow. I gotta hide. Uh... Oh, still this keg down. Uh... Grab that. So there's some heals. There are no heals. Great. Let's just hide here. Uh, there he is right there. Waiting for me to come out. Let's see if we shoot him. Oh, no, can't shoot him through the window. Let's heal. Can't shoot him there. Full shield, let's go. Missed every shot. Great. We can go around. Where'd he go? Oh my god! Somehow I'm still alive. I don't know how. Holy cow. Where is he? hide down here. Let's see. I was hoping for Bush Warrior. Mechanical Archer will work. Uh, that'll give us some rotation. Uh, yeah, this is a problem. Let's go see if we can third party. Go ahead and chug these first. Try to get some of our health back. This is 
probably stupid, but I think our best chance is to third party, maybe get them while they're low. Uh, looks like someone was already eliminated. Where is the other person? There they are. Let's see if we can shoot with a bow. How did that miss? Let's go grab this hammer. Uh, making the bow useless, but we will grab the red eye. And then we'll come here and hide in case they decide to double back around. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so Miller and Morrison thought that they were just trying to resolve the, the conflicts between the Bible and government. Edmund Morgan argued that Winthrop's magistry was a continuing struggle in creating a Christian utopian society, basically the perfect society. Fortunately, we got Medmist and this nice. It was yeah, one that would prevent the separatist impulse that was so strong in New England. I mean, these were people that left to uh, separate from the overweening power of government with the actual necessary responsibilities for government. They were attempting to you know, utilize the colonist sense of righteousness, of God's calling to the cause of social justice. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Let's hammer out. Okay. I guess we'll head up here, up towards Brutal. Hopefully people will be rotating out of there. The picture that emerges of Winthrop is one of kind of a severe and intolerant man. I mean, I'm sure his critics would agree with such a characterization. Forecast, let's go. Uh, although he, Winthrop himself regarded himself as a man chosen by God and the people to create this new society. You know, I mean, it was a society from nothingness, you know, driven by his religious beliefs. I mean, he was a man who prayed earnestly and... You know, tried to discharge his mandate virtuously as he saw it. You know, his political theory was very clear. The man had liberty not to do what he liked. You know, that was for the beasts. What is this up here? Quest. Let's do it. The scientist is facing a fate darker than the worst imaginable. I need a body built for the other side of that rift gate. My upgrades include a pocket chainsaw, flamethrowers, a little cheese knife, a jazzy piano, a chest. flexible candelabra. A Virgo's rescue sack. I know he misses his uh, candle. Splashes will take that instead of the med mist. I the stiff wind blew the plants uh, off the end of my hand. Uh, we gotta get out of here. Find my missing blueprints. Uh, Using a let's go. Don't want to use the hammer. Make sure they slide out. Let's go. Okay, we're out. Fighting over there. It's very close. Yeah. Unchecked liberty was that for beast, but it, really what man should do is distinguish between good and evil, which could only be accomplished by studying you know, God's commands as written down in the Bible. And then, once you know the difference between good and evil, do only good. If by God's grace you were given this liberty, then it was your responsibility to obey the divinely sanctioned authority, which was... Conveniently for him, him. <laughs> okay. Let's go over to this building and see what... Who is this? Fish sticks in this house have. Oh, he was... Okay. Oh, more splashes. I'll take that. Uh, oh, med mist. Let's go ahead and get up to 100. In Massachusetts, free men chose their rulers, but once chosen, the magistrate's word must be obeyed, according to Winthrop. It was both divine law as well as man's law. If his commands were not just and honest, his authority wasn't genuine. You know, who, who was the one to decide that? 
You know, man was sinful. He was struggling with his sinful nature, which meant that sometimes magistrates had to, you know, exercise mercy and forgiveness. Yet people who were impertinent or obstinate in their sin, so to speak, you know, should be dealt with ruthlessly before they corrupted the community. Let's go in here and see if we can get some ammo. Ooh, ask and ye shall receive. Nice. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Reroll. Man, I guess we'll go with Storm Mark. Yeah. Now, people should forgive the magistrate their occasional errors of judgment, you know. But if these errors persisted over a long enough time, then the people had the right to remove their magistrate. <laughs> it was very kind of him. Yeah. Winthrop himself claimed he was a freely elected governor of the colony four times, which is true. We're gonna have to cross this somehow. He embodied representative government in the new world he implemented he implemented the system with some level of firmness in american soil i mean you know, it, it was the foundation upon which america would grow out of you know, at the end of 20 years of his leadership the colony had been built from nothing into a body politic which was showing signs of maturing it was beginning to resolve the needs of authority with the needs of liberty. Might make sure we don't run into anything over the top of this. Let's go on down. What is interesting is how remarkably argumentative and socially conscious these early Massachusetts were during this period of Winthrop's rule. You know, it, it, it kind of, in many ways, it reflected the civil war that was raging in England during the time. Uh, let's go around here. Let's see what's in this building, I'm thinking. See if there's anything else we can use over here. Maybe a better shotgun. Anybody. Let's go see what's in here. There's a chest upstairs. What are you going to give me? Uh, nothing. Yeah, another thunder shotgun. I've already got one of those. <laughs> yeah, let's head there. The conflict in England concerned how these three English kingdoms, England, Scotland, and Ireland, should be governed. In England, the battle of government was between the monarchy and those who favored rule by people. The Civil War itself ended with the execution of Charles I. Remember the guy who granted permission for the original colonies <laughs> in 1649 and the exile of his son, Charles II, in 1651. They replaced the English monarchy with the Commonwealth of England, essentially establishing that a monarch cannot govern without Parliament's consent. Move up to this bush up here. You know, this in many ways mirrored the arguments of the colony. I mean, we saw Winthrop de deposed for not ruling by the consent and not following the laws. 
You know, it was in the crucible of these volatile times that some of these ideas would hammer themselves out and form what is essentially one of the most successful governments to ever be on this planet. Okay, storm's coming in. There's probably people coming out of Slappy, maybe? Anybody coming out of Slappy? Oh yeah, right there. <laughs> Looks like a duck. They're fighting over there. Somebody else over here. Let's go ahead and shoot them. Okay, they're going in. Interesting. Somebody died. Oh, that was Ducky, I guess. Where's this person going? Is he hurt? He's going for the loot. Let's see if we can get him. Oh yeah, he's definitely hurt. He's shooting animals. Okay, I got a shot. There we go. Here he comes. Uh oh, come in. Yes! Yes! Finally! Via that stupid Kamahami. God, I hate that thing. That is so satisfying to watch them die in this space like that. It's so, so satisfying. Oh, here comes somebody else coming in for the loot. Okay. Well, they're coming on over, aren't they? They coming over? Oh yeah. It's a good shotgun. This. Uh oh. Oh. Uh. What's going on? I'm not dead. Oh, someone else coming. Splash. What? Let's get out of here. Okay. Uh, let's splash again. Reload. Somehow I'm still alive. Okay, this gun does no damage. Okay. How are you not dead? Uh oh. Let's jump in. Did that not hit him? Ow. Uh, let's let them fight. Someone right there. Of course she rifts. Uh, let's go ahead and rift ourselves. Okay, somehow I'm alive. I don't know what just happened there, but somehow I'm alive. Holy cow. That was crazy. That was... Ugh. Uh, there's that guy still driving the truck around. Okay, okay, let's uh, let's work our way around to the other the side over here. Let's see if we can come in. There's fighting going on up here. Let's see if we can come in on the back side of it. Or somebody right there. What? No! Why? What? Oh my god. Stupid rip thing. So much had him. That's so frustrating. Where'd he go? I don't see him anywhere. <sighs> Let's go see if they had any heals over here. Um, and they have those drinks. Where is everybody? Let's go ahead and push over here. Oh, let's grab the shotgun. Let's grab these. Reload, grab the slurps. Uh, let's go ahead and drink one. Stay on the outside of this. Reorg. Okay, what do we got going on up here? Where the heck is everybody? 
Oh, I'm in trouble. Uh, I gotta dip. I gotta dip. I gotta get out of here. Come on, go. Why am I not going? Ah! Somehow I'm still surviving. That hurt, though. Let's go ahead and heal. I see him over there. Let's go ahead and run. Heal up. He's in trouble. No, what is the rift? Uh oh, there's someone else. Oh my god. Alright, I'm dead. Oof. Dead! Let's go! Holy cow. We'll hit a gold shotgun. Let's heal. Let's go grab that gold shotgun. What? What? What just happened? Oh my god, where was he? He was on top of a tree! That's like the second time I've died to somebody on top of a tree. Dude, that is... I hate... Does that the guy I fought twice? And both times he rifted on me? That's stupid. That's stupid, man. Oh well. Such is life. Man, well if you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. And as always, have a great day if you want to.